Once upon a time, in the vast depths of the internet, there existed a platform called Reddit. It was a treasure trove of fascinating stories, discussions, and of course, horror tales that sent shivers down the spines of its users. As a devoted follower of the subreddit No Sleep, I have come across countless terrifying stories. But one night, as I scrolled through the subreddit, I stumbled upon a tale that would forever haunt my dreams. The story began with a Reddit user, let's call them Dark Whispers 87, who claimed to have experienced a series of strange occurrences in their new apartment. It all started innocently enough, with a few unexplained noises and objects mysteriously shifting places. But as the days went by, the incidents grew more sinister. According to Dark Whispers 87, the most chilling encounter happened one fateful night. They woke up to the sound of soft footsteps echoing through their apartment. Heart pounding, they peered into the darkness, but could see nothing. The footsteps continued, growing louder and closer. Panic surged through Dark Whispers 87 as they realized the footsteps were heading towards their bedroom. Frozen with fear, they watched as the bedroom door creaked open, revealing a tall figure standing in the doorway. It was shrouded in darkness, its features obscured. Dark Whispers 87's mind raced, trying to comprehend the terrifying presence before them. The figure took a step forward, its gaze fixed upon them. In a desperate attempt to protect themselves, Dark Whispers 87 reached for their phone and shone its light towards the intruder. But to their horror, the light revealed an empty doorway the figure had vanished into thin air. Shaken to the core, Dark Whispers 87 searched the apartment, finding no evidence of an intruder. They were left with an overwhelming sense of dread, knowing that something inexplicable had invaded their home that night. As I read through the story, a chill ran down my spine. The thought of an unseen presence lurking in the darkness, watching and waiting, sent shivers through my entire being. I couldn't help but wonder if Dark Whispers 87 had truly encountered a malevolent entity or if their imagination had played a wicked trick on them. To this day, the story haunts me, reminding me that sometimes the scariest tales are not just confined to works of fiction. The terrors that lurk in the shadows of our own lives can be far more unsettling than anything we encounter in the world of make-believe. And so, dear listeners, be wary of the unknown, for you never know what might be lurking in the darkness, just beyond your perception. Gather round, my friends, for I have another bone-chilling tale from the depths of Reddit. This one comes from a user known as InquisitiveMind91, who shared an experience that left them questioning their own sanity. It all started when InquisitiveMind91 received a peculiar package in the mail. It was a small, nondescript box with no return address. Intrigued, they opened it, only to find a collection of old photographs and handwritten letters. The contents seemed innocent enough at first, depicting people from a bygone era. But as Inquisitive Mind 91 delved deeper into the letters, they discovered a disturbing pattern. The correspondence spoke of a cult that worshipped an ancient deity performing forbidden rituals to gain favor and power. The more they read, the more they realized that the cult's practices were not confined to the past. Haunted by curiosity, Inquisitive Mind 91 began researching the cult's history. They dug through online archives, scoured dusty library shelves, and even reached out to obscure sources. What they uncovered sent shivers down their spine. The cult, it seemed, was not a thing of the past, but an active and insidious presence in the present. It operated in secrecy, its members scattered across the world, carrying out dark rituals to appease the ancient deity they worshipped. Inquisitive Mind 91 stumbled upon stories of missing persons, unexplained deaths, and strange symbols etched into abandoned buildings, all linked to the cult's activities. As their investigation deepened, Inquisitive Mind 91's paranoia grew. They became convinced that they were being watched, that shadows lurked just beyond their field of vision. Every creak of the floorboards, every flicker of the lights, seemed to be a sign of the cult's sinister presence. 
One night, as they sat alone in their dimly lit apartment, Inquisitive Mind 91 heard a knock at the door. Their heart raced as they cautiously approached. Peering through the peephole, they saw a figure cloaked in darkness standing on the other side. Fear gripped them, but curiosity won out, and they opened the door. To their surprise, it was a neighbor returning a misplaced package. Relieved, Inquisitive Mind 91 accepted it with a shaky smile. But as they closed the door, they noticed a symbol etched on the neighbor's hand. A symbol they had seen in their research, a symbol associated with the cult. Their minds spun with questions. Was the cult closer than they had ever imagined? Were they being drawn into a web of darkness from which there was no escape? To this day, Inquisitive Mind 91 lives in constant fear, unsure of who to trust and haunted by the knowledge they have uncovered. The story serves as a chilling reminder that there are forces at play beyond our comprehension, and sometimes, delving too deep into the unknown can have dire consequences. So, my friends, be cautious in your pursuit of knowledge, for there are secrets best left undisturbed, and some mysteries are better left unsolved. Prepare yourselves, dear listeners, for the final tale of terror from the dark recesses of Reddit. This spine-chilling account comes from a user known as who slash seeker of shadows who stumbled upon a story that will forever haunt their dreams. It all began when Seeker of Shadows came across a post on the subreddit or slash urban exploration. The post described an abandoned cabin hidden deep within the woods, a place rumored to be cursed by a tragic past. Intrigued by the prospect of unraveling its mysteries, Seeker of Shadows embarked on a journey to find the cabin. Armed with a camera and a sense of trepidation, Seeker of Shadows ventured into the dense forest. The trees whispered ancient secrets as they pressed forward, their senses heightened by the anticipation of what lay ahead. After hours of navigating through the underbrush, they stumbled upon the cabin, dilapidated and overgrown with vegetation. It stood as a testament to forgotten times, its weathered walls, and broken windows telling tales of abandonment and decay. As Seeker of Shadows stepped inside, an oppressive atmosphere settled upon them. The air was heavy, charged with an unsettling energy. The cabin seemed frozen in time, its interiors untouched by human hands for years. As they explored further, a sense of unease gnawed at Seeker of Shadow's core. Strange symbols adorned the walls, their meaning lost to time. Broken furniture lay scattered, and the remnants of personal belongings hinted at lives interrupted and left behind. In the corner of a room, they discovered a journal, a testament to the cabin's dark history. Its pages were filled with the ramblings of a tormented soul, describing encounters with spectral figures, whispered voices in the night, and an ever-present feeling of being washed. Driven by morbid curiosity, Seeker of Shadows continued their exploration. They descended into the cabin's basement, a place cloaked in impenetrable darkness. Their flashlight illuminated the cobweb-laden room, revealing a chilling sight, a makeshift altar adorned with decaying bones and cryptic symbols. A sudden chill ran down Seeker of Shadow's spine as an otherworldly presence filled the room. Shadows danced on the walls, taking on grotesque shapes that seemed to mock their intrusion. Whispers echoed through the dank air, their words incomprehensible yet laced with malice. A wave of terror washed over Seeker of Shadows, urging them to flee the cabin's cursed confines. They stumbled out into the open air, gasping for breath, their heart pounding in their chest. The forest seemed to sigh in relief, as if releasing them from its clutches. To this day, Seeker of Shadows is plagued by nightmares and an unshakable feeling that the cabin's malevolent presence lingers within them. The story stands as a harrowing reminder that some places are best left undisturbed, for the darkness they hold can consume even the bravest of souls. So, my dear listeners, heed this cautionary tale and remember that there are places in this world that should never be disturbed, for they hold secrets that are better left buried in the shadows. Thank you for watching Whispering Tales TV, so don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell and join our community of fellow thrill seekers. 
Get ready for spine-tingling stories that will keep you up at night. Let the whispering tales begin.